So, I just finished catching up on the 2021 PlayStation Showcase, which people have been hyping up ad nauseum for the past week, by the way, with regards to rumors and leaks and dream projects and megatons appearing, but suffice to say, that's not really what happened. For me personally, Project Eve absolutely stole the show, which isn't necessarily all that hard when the majority of the show is made up of CG trailers, and I think a lot of people here will agree with me when I say that people don't really want to see trailers that aren't representative of the final product. Sure, it's awesome to have them announced, but at least show some gameplay, otherwise nobody knows how exactly your game's going to play, which kind of is the main thing when it comes to playing games. But I digress, getting back on topic, Project Eve. The show pretty much opened up with a trailer for this game, and I was actually surprised to hear that this isn't the announcement trailer. In fact, almost a year ago, a trailer for this game dropped, and it somehow slipped under my radar, which is surprising considering I tend to try and stay up to date on all sorts of character action, spectacle fighters, DMC-esque games, whatever you want to call them. But, but immediately I was happy to see gameplay footage in a trailer, and the gameplay footage of that was fantastic. Now I know of course immediately people are going to be like, well, it's not hard to be so engrossed in the trailer considering the uh, <clears throat> assets, shall we say, of the main character. But I was pleasantly surprised to see this game make an appearance. People online, of course, are comparing this game of the character to Bayonetta, thanks to the character obviously looking somewhat like Bayonetta, in the skin-tight clothing, lots of hair, and of course, beating the ever-loving shit out of all the enemies. Taking a step back from how stylish the combat looked, can we talk about how amazing the art direction for this game looks? The moment where the character's thrown out of the window into space, only for the camera to zoom out and you get to see the large parasite that has infested and taken over the space station, absolutely phenomenal. And it almost looks like they've taken a page out of John Carpenter's The Thing with how grotesque some of the enemy designs are. If you were to take the enemy design from this game and put it into a modern day horror game, I don't think anything would look amiss. Throughout the trailer we get a few looks at some of the other aspects of Project Eve, like the boss fights, which all look grandiose and pretty grotesque in and of themselves. There's one point where the boss literally picks up the character and proceeds to almost grind the protagonist in half, which is pretty morbid, but a pretty cool attack animation, if I say so myself. But as good as those bosses look, I'm hoping that we do get to fight some humanoid bosses at that. I think those kinds of bosses tend to work the best. For example, Virgil from the DMC series, or even Jetstream Sam from Metal Gear Rising. Those fights tend to be memorable for a reason. And of course, if you stick around to the end of the Project Eve trailer, I think a humanoid boss is somewhat teased, so I'm looking forward to seeing how exactly that fight is going to pan out. The trailer even features a section very similar to Bayonetta and its afterburner sections where the protagonist is skating down a fluorescent hallway at breakneck speed and I think even fighting a boss at some point if the cutscene is to be believed. All in all, it looks like Project Eve, which I'm struggling to not call Parasite Eve by the way, thanks to how many times the word goddamn parasite is uttered in the trailer, is shaping up to be an amazing game. I'm hoping we get a release date soon, and I'm also hoping we get a demo, and that we're able to get hands-on with the game, because I'm curious to see how exactly this game plays. People have been calling it a mixture between Bayonetta, Nier, DMC, but until we get hands-on and we, I guess, get stuck in with the intricacies of the combat system, we just won't know. But that's enough of me waffling on about Project Eve. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the game. Does it scratch that character action spectacle fighter itch, or is it not to your taste? Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, do be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a ton. With all that said and done, it has been me, Devil Never Cry. I would like to thank all of you for watching, and as always, I'll see you all next video.